What up, sports fans? It's Hip Hop here, and you're watching Hoppus Hip Tips. And the site is finally up and ready to go, so we're going to check out the new EFC rules today. And uh, let's just get right to it, shall we? In a minute. First, we got to see Gatlin here. Come on, Gatlin, shoot that gun. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and here's Clay. Yeah, he likes me, him some Gatlin, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so, uh, here we are. New EFC. Um, we're, just, we're just jumping right to the page here. We're going to check out the new rules. Now, um, your deck cannot contain fewer than eight, blah, 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 blah. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing that I was a little worried about, and now I'm very worried about it, because uh, the six different zones now, um, basically, basically you have to be in the top 5% of all players to get to Z Palace, okay? So it just got a whole lot more difficult to get to Z Palace, because before... You know, you just had to get to like, what, 1,500 EFC points, and you were in, right? So like any number of people, <coughs> excuse me, any number of people could get into Z Palace in the, in the old system, right? If, you know, if, if, if 500 people got 15,000 EFC points, or 1,500 C, EFC points, they were in, okay? If... A thousand people got fifteen hundred EFC points. They were in Z in, in, in Z Palace. Now though, it's just the top five percent of the players. Period. So if you you know, and who knows how many points that'll end up being? I don't know. Um, but uh, in my opinion, this is, it's going to be a whole lot harder to get to Z Palace, which saddens me. Because I don't think I'll, because it'll, I really wanted to get that mission done. Um, and uh, who knows when that will happen now under this new system. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that, that saddens me a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Uh, but it's, but I honestly think it's going to be more difficult to get to Z Palace now. Um, that's just, that's just what it looks like. Anyway, um, what do we got? So, um, so you can challenge any player, uh, up to 600, um, you can face players up to 600 ELO points difference from yours in any zone. Okay. So, um, so I don't know how, I don't know how that'll shape up. Um, I imagine... You know, I imagine EFC players will mostly just be, or sorry, Z Palace players will mostly just be playing Z Palace players. Um, but, you know, it depends, I guess. But um, generally, I think you'll probably just be playing players within your own zone. Um, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking under this new system with like, percentages I don't know I'm thinking we'll probably you know we'll probably just kind of kind of get stuck around uh, danger zone or EFC tower and probably just stay there for the rest of the season that's that's my guess just looking at these percentages I don't know we'll see um, so rewards um, so you still get your daily box for playing 10 games per day. And uh, you only need to play five matches per week, which is not a big deal. Um, I think most of us play at least 10 games a day to get our daily box, right? And, um, and you don't lose points anymore for, for not playing. That's nice. Um, and so daily boxes actually got better, okay? Daily boxes got better, and I think, 
I think they may have implemented this on the last couple days of um, of the last season because I was getting I, I was getting some pretty crazy boxes the last couple days. I was getting so I was in Polet Arena as you can see here. You can actually get rares now if you're in Polet Arena or Z Palace in your daily boxes. You can get rares. That's pretty sweet. Um, but I was getting like double uncommon. I think I got double uncommons like. Um, like Thursday and then Saturday, um, in while well, I was in Polet Arena in my daily boxes, so so that's pretty cool. Um, so you might be getting more uncommons now in your daily boxes. Um, so that's a thing. Um, you can also get battle points, which before you weren't getting battle points in your daily boxes. Not many people really care a whole lot about battle points, but um, you know, but it is a thing now. Um, I like battle points personally because um, it makes my, you know, the higher level you are, the higher the level of your guild, I guess. Um, so weekly rewards uh, for weekly rewards uh, in Z Palace, you're gonna get. Uh, for top 10, I guess, oh, top 100, I guess, get this stuff. So these are, these are all pretty decent rewards. You can get rares if you're in Z Palace, top 10. Um, is it just, I guess, is it, um, these are weekly rewards, right? So I guess the top 10 is, um, I think they said today, it, or this week, it's going to be, um, what's his face? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Sue. It's going to be Sue. I guess all those rares are Sue. If you get in the top 10, you get Sue this week. I think it's the deal. And then you're getting um, Cryptos and Clints. That's new, I think. Um, for weekly rewards. Well, maybe not. I don't know. A thousand... A thousand uh, cryptos for Polet Arena, seven hundred for EFC Tower, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know. I don't know how how much those went up. Maybe a little bit. So seasonal rewards now. Um, in Z Palace, they went way up because um, you get even like for the bottom. Even if you're in the bottom of uh, Z Palace, you get six rares and eight uncommons. I think before you were, um, uh, I think before you were getting like three rares in your pack for Z Palace for seasonal rewards. So that's pretty good. Six rares now. Polet Arena, you're also getting rares. Um, five, what? Five rares. I think I got one rare for Polet Arena this this last season. So now, um, so now you can get five rares. That's pretty sweet. So those went up. That's awesome. Um, mythic cards will be chosen at random. Um, I think, yeah, I think if you're in Z Palace, they, they give out mythic cards randomly. I don't know exactly how that works, um, but it's a thing. So anyway, I think that's always kind of been a thing. EFC Forbidden Characters list. Select a clan. What is this? Let's just try this out. So all stars. What does it say here? Uh, I don't know. Checking it out. It's all new, baby. All new. All exciting. Um, all stars. Okay. So Hans Spinner, Rob CR, Saki, Striker CR, Zlabal, Marina, Roderick, and Lamar CR. So are these Is that like are those like Z Palace bands or are those or are they banned everywhere? That's weird. Let's look at Lamar CR really quick. Um Okay, so he's allowed up to Chaka Muscle Ring. I guess those are just banned in Z Palace, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what that means. 
Um, oh, balls here. Reload. Yes, reload. Fetch. Do I have to ask? How many times do I have to ask? All right. Um. Yeah. So I think I think those are just I think those are just Sea Palace bands. That's what I want to say. I want to say those are just Sea Palace bands, but um, I don't know. Let's click on. Let's try Hans Spinner here for a second. Yeah, so it says he's still allowed up to Polit Arena. So I think those are just Z Palace bands. Um, oh, and now we have to reload and all this crap. Yes, I want to reload. All right. Um, so, is that it? Is that everything we need to look at here? I think so. Um, win loss calculator. Yeah, that's cool. So let's go home here. And um, I just wanted to look at season 25 here, this post. So, um, so everybody got a new semi, every clan got a new semi Evo card. Eh, don't really care about semi Evos a whole lot personally. Um, like I've said before, I, you know, when I get a new card, if it's a semi Evo, I'll play it semi Evoed until it levels up and then I just play it with it normally. So most of these are older cards, and I've already leveled them up anyway, so it's like, eh, whatever. I'm not going to go buy new copies and play them semi-evoed, right? It's just not my thing. Anyway, um, there's a special semi-evo thematic pack in the shop that you can get a bunch of new semi-evos in. Not really interested personally. Uh, Mr. Big Duke went from 7.5 to 7.6 stats, so they upped his stats a little bit. And they modified a bunch of legend cards, but they're not going to tell us what those are. I think that's kind of retarded, but whatever. Um, do you want to go, do you want, do, should we go check those out real quick? Let's just go see if we can find, figure out, um, let's see, is it game? There we go, characters. Let's just go see if we can figure out uh, what some of these legends changed to. Um, oops, okay, all stars. So where are their legends? Harrow is 7-1 damage exchange. Cora Mail is the same. So they haven't changed at all. Let's go back. Um, got Hurakan here. Magistrata Legend is the same, and um, I believe Bugabaga Legend is the same. I don't, I don't use him a whole lot, but um, I think that's the same ability that he had before. Rescue. What you got, Rescue? Show us what you got. Um, so Nami's is, oh, okay, so Nami went up, uh, she got a bump in her power. She was a 6-5, now she's a 7-5, so that's pretty sweet. Um, that makes her a lot more, a lot tougher against SOA, um, but she has the same ability and everything. Um, Scott Legend, is he the same? I want to say he's the same, 7-4, victory or defeat, plus 2 life. I think that's the same, but he may have gotten, he may have gotten a bump. I don't know. I don't know. Um, don't use Scott Legend a whole lot. Let's see. Bangers. Do you guys want to go through all these with me? Do you want to hang? If so, hang. Uh, if not, you can leave now. But... We're going to look at all these uh, legends and see if any of them are reloaded. So, um, so Crink, looks like Crink got a max on his ability. So plus one pills per damage, max 12. I don't think he had a max before. So he may have, I don't know. So he's, um, oh, and he, and he got a bump to his damage too. That might have happened last time. 
but he's a 6'4 now, so he can, he can get more pills now, but he has a max, 12. And um, Skinny Bob's the same. Uh, let's see, Jungo. So, um, Excess Legend is the same. Hopper Legend is the same. No changes there. Riots. What do you got, Riots? DR Van West, a legend is the same. Uh, DR Web Legend is, I believe she's the same. I don't use her very often, so. Um, yeah, I think she's the same still. What do you got, Zerks? What you got, Zerks? Uh, so growth minus five attack, min nine. Yeah, command on legend is the same. Um, Sylvia's the same, no changes there. Junks. Space Hans legend is the same. Travis legend has not changed either. Pisses me off that they're making us look through all of these to find out which ones change. I mean, just give us the list, guys. Is it that hard? Bakuda Legend. Um, I believe Bakuda Legend is the same as he was before. I, I don't play with that card very often, so not a big fan. Um, Crazan Legend is Brawl. I think he was Brawl before. Dominion. I don't think they're going to change a whole lot, are they? Um, let's see. Wylo is... Looks the same. Uh, Lord Un Legend is the same. La Junta, what do we got there? Um, so let's see, Naja is, yeah, same same stuff on Naja, same stuff on War Legend. No big changes there. Sacrum. Let's see, Dobbs Legend is the same, and Fomal Hot Legend is the same, right? So, so they didn't they didn't tweak a whole lot of legends. It looks like. Um, Fang P. Yeah, Dokuja looks the same. Was she equalizer before? I think she was. Futoshi Legend. Oh, Futoshi, Futoshi Legend is Reprisal now. That's interesting. He just, he had, he was straight cancel opponent power and damage mod, but now he's Reprisal. So that's going to help. That's going to nerf him a little bit. So let's see. Leaders. We already know about um, Mr. Big Duke going from 7.5 to 7.6. So Sentinel. Uh, we got Averia. Let's see what she. She's the same. Valentina hasn't changed. We're almost there, guys. I think. Um, freaks. Friggin' freaks. Let's see. Um, Bikini Joe Legend is the same. Nine two protection bonus. Plague Legend is the same. Brawl power plus one. Montana, what'd you do to my Montana? Is anything? Let's see, Bella is still cancel power and damage mod six four. Yeah, they didn't. Neither of them changed. Got skills. Let's see. Andy Legend is the same. Yomi is the same. Cool. And uh, we're almost there, guys, I hope. 
Frozen. What did Frozen get here? For Yaten is uh, the same. 8-4. Tiwi Legend is the same. He has a max 10 on his ability. Did he have max 12 before? It seemed like it was max 12 before. So they may have lowered his max. That's interesting. Um, so potential nerf on Tiwi Legend there. And Nightmare. Let's see. So Baffo's the same. Dudley's the same. No biggie. Ulu's. What happened to Ulu's? Let's see. So Liana is heal to max 10. Yeah, she's still the same. Kill shot 2. Yeah, Linkos is the same too. So no, no real changes there to Ulu's. And last, oh no, last. Oh my gosh, are we still going? Fetch. I really hate you, staff, for making me do this. But go through every friggin' clan. Okay, Jax, I think he's the same. Um, Wrecked. Oh, Wrecked went up. He has five damage now, that's nice. Holy cow. Um... But his Courage, minus 2 power and damage, has a min 3 now instead of a min 2. So, I don't know. Um, I, think that's an, I think that's an overall gain. He's less defensive now, but, um, but that 5 damage is friggin' nice, dude. Um, I don't, and I don't think the min 3 will get in the, pa in the way of his power manipulation much. So I think he gained a lot of offensive power here um, at the expense of a little bit of defense. So uh, that's kind of nice, actually. Um, let's see, we did Geist. We got Piranhas here. What happened to Piranhas? Anything? Let's see. Bonnie has a max 11 now instead of a... She, I think she had a max 12 before. So they just they bumped her max down down a little bit. Um, and uh, Death Legend is unchanged. Uppers. Where you at, Uppers? Where you at? Okay, Gale Legend. Uh, she's the same as before, and uh, so is Nega D Legend. No changes there. And we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Hang with me. Just hang with me a little longer. So Ghost Town. Uh, Jane Ghost. Day. I think he's the same as he was before. Victor Van Dort is the same. No changes there. Um, Pussycats. <clears throat> Let's see. Pussycats. What do you got? Ashikaze Legend is the minus one per life left min three. Okay, her min, her min went up. I think she was a min two, wasn't she? Um, I don't know if her min went up last time, though, or this time. I can't remember. Um, but she's a min three now, so that means she... Um, she doesn't go under the uppers bonus anymore, or the Sacrum bonus, um, she just equals it, and um, Lois Legend is the same, Vortex, what do we got here for Vortex, let's see, Vuitton, minus three, life min three, he's the same, Predator's the same, no changes to Vortex, so we're finally, we're almost there. Hive, I doubt they have any changes. Sight Legend, Toxin 1, Min 0, yeah, he's the same. So is Wave, no changes there. And last, but certainly not least, but kind of least, because who, who likes Raptors? <laughs> no, they're all right. Um, Chopper Legend is the same, and Starve is the same. Okay, cool. So there you go.
those uh, those are the changed legends. Not too many diff changes there. A few little tweaks. And um, and the last thing I'll say is that they they said that they might change the uh, the ban list every Monday. Might make changes to the ban list. Again, that only really applies to Z Palace, I think. So um, not a big deal. And there we go, guys. We're back. We're back for EFC Season 25. So um, hope you enjoyed that little review there. Hopefully it was useful. And I will be back in an, you know, in an hour or so for some hot, steamy, sweaty EFC action, baby. I'll see you then. This is Hip Hop is signing out for Hop is Hip Tips.